In this class, we'll see what maps are in Java. A map is a collection interface in Java, which is nothing but a collection of keys and values, key value pairs. So each key in the map maps to a specific value. There are no, there cannot be any duplicate keys in the map. You can think of a map as, for example, in a book, at the end of the book, you see the index, right? And in the index, you see the word and the page number. So the word is like the key, and the page number is a value. So that word, you'll see that references to that word in on a certain page. So it's basically mapping a key to a value. One more example where I can s s use this is, let's say I want to store all the salaries of every employee. So for each employee name, I'll have a salary. So you're mapping this employee name to the salary. So the employee name is a key and the employee salary is a value. Okay, so that's what a map is. And each key can map to at most one value. And for the map interface, there are several classes in Java which implement the map interface. We have the hash map, the tree map, the linked hash map, and so on. And a map can have both null keys and null values starting from JDK 1.5. So let's look at an example on how we can use this map. So here I, I have a test map which is basically of type map which is the interface and if you notice here this is a generic. This generic contains two things an object and a string. Since this generic contains two types on the left side the right side should also be the same. It should contain an object and a string. But here we have a hash map type and here we have a map type. A hash map is a class which implements a map interface and every hash map is a map. So there is an easy relationship from the class which implements the interface to the interface. So every hash map is a map. That is the reason why you can assign this hash map object type to the map type. But the important thing is the generic has to be the same on both the sides. Okay, so in this in this map, first I'm putting f the integer five, but here I said object. So Java will implicitly convert that to a the integer wrapper type. I N T E G E R with the I as uppercase. So this five will con get converted to the integer wrapper type, and then the second one is a string. So the first one is an object, so this five will get converted to the integer wrapper object. Remember the object class is a mother of all classes in Java. Every class has to inherit from the object class. So the integer is also an object, is an object. So you're putting five as a key and the value is Ben Jude. Then you're putting six as a, as a key and again you're putting Ben Jude as a value. So here if you notice, the keys are unique, but not but the values are not unique. Okay, and you can also put as a null key and you can also put a null value. Okay, now what I'm doing here is I'm putting 5. 5 was already added here. Okay, now let's run this program and see what happens. We put a duplicate entry so what happens is when you put a duplicate entry this one will replace the existing one it will not throw an exception sorry it will not throw an exception the duplicate key will not throw an exception 
but the new key value pair will replace the older key value entry so this guy is lost okay so this is how you add entries in the map by you calling the put method okay so when you do a put you are putting one entry in the map each entry in the map is a key and a value so the first one is a key and the second one is a value okay and the way you iterate over a map is you can get on the map you call the entry set method and on the entry set method you call the iterator and this iterator when you iterate over it it will give you map dot entry objects and each entry contains an object and a string because this is what this map contained right it contains pairs of key key value pairs right each key is an object each value is a string so each entry in the map is an object string combination object is a key and string is a value so again you trade over this map by calling the has next in a while loop and then when you call the next each time you call next it will give you a map dot entry say let, let's say let's call it my entry and this my entry you can get the key the key will be the integer object the wrapper object and then you can also get the value by calling each key in map okay th actually this is the integer value of a integer wrapper type then you can get the value by calling the get value on the entry object and here I'm also counting the number of entries in the map so as I iterate over this loop I'm incrementing this count of entries and I'm printing it out so this is the way of iterating over a map by iterate over a map using the entry set then you can also iterate over a map using the key set the key set is a set of keys in the map so when you get a key set you can get its iterator and then iterate over the over the map and as you iterate over it you will get each integer and once you get each integer you can call this get method to retrieve the corresponding value for each key in the map because the map will contain pairs of keys and values right let's say you have three keys okay for the first key there will be a value so for the second key there is a value the third key there is a value so as you iterate over this key set you'll get the first key first and on that you will say dot get on the map by passing the key and the dot get will return you the corresponding value for that key got it so this let's look at another, another example where I add where a map employee names to the companies that they work for okay so I'll say map and here I'll use strings the key the key is a string the value is also a string I'll just call it EMP to employer map equal to new hash map again this has to be string string the key is a string and the value is a string 
and in this I'll store three three to four entries dot put put is a way to add entries each entry uh, each entry to a map and each entry is a combination of key and value so I'm saying Parashuram is a guy and he works for Saxon Global next I will add one more entry here I will say a fees he works for Pioneer then I'll add Sujit he works for a company called Zenilocity and then Kima works he work Kima works for Pioneer again so see that you'll see that and then I'll add one more entry fees I'll say he works for Microsoft and now if, if I want to iterate over this map what I do is I can use a for loop also then for each of these employee names I'll print each employee name works for and the value you have to get it from the map so you'll say the map name dot get and you have to pass a key name the key name is this got it so let's run this program now so Afis what will it print will it, will it print that he works for Pioneer or Microsoft Microsoft because the second one will replace the first one So Parshuram works for Saxon, correct. Kima works for Pioneer. Sujit works for Zenilocity. Afis works for Microsoft. So this is how maps work in Java. So I want you to try this program and see how it works.